What's up guys? Welcome back to Cody's Auto Diagnostics. Today working on a 2007 Ford F-250. Uh, vehicle came in with a check engine light. It's got the money light on. Pulled, ran codes. I have the Ford IDS hooked up. VCM2. Code that we got is a P1335. EGR position sensor, minimum stop performance. Okay, so just the just the description alone is pretty key. Um, so it's talking about the minimum, the at idle pencil position of the EGR valve. So that's something we want to uh, be mindful of. I am using the Ford IDS because it does have a pretty cool uh, diagnostic procedure for these EGR valves, or test I should say, for these e for these EGR valves. So we'll go into this right now. I'm going to go up to this menu here. I'm going to go down to powertrain, air management. Go ahead and shut the vehicle off. EGR system test. Okay. So it's got a description. It tells you the EGR system is designed to check the EGR valve and related system PIDs during key on engine off and key on engine running. This test may help with the repair of DTCs um, and it's got a bunch listed. P1335 is also included in that. The EGR test requires certain conditions to be met. I have made sure that the conditions have been met, like the engine oil temperature is at 192 degrees, needs to be above 185, uh, battery voltage, and make sure that the ignition switch is set to on. So we are going to hit the check mark, go through to this test. So right now, you can see that it came up as the EGR, if we go to the description, go up to this right here the bottom right here it will tell you the the description of what that PID is and it is the exhaust gas recirculation valve position and it is at 1.22 spec for this with key on engine off with the valve completely closed should be 0.8 so right there and if you look at this graph right here you can see the two arrows in between the two arrows is where it wants it to be and it is barely out so it's either a position sensor failure or that pencil is stuck open a little bit. I'm not having any drivability concerns as of right now, but like I said, it can barely be stuck open. So, it is not even allowing us up to go into the second test. So, I'll bring you guys along. I'm going to pull the EGR valve. We're going to look at the, uh, the pencil position. from being able to shut all the way. We could probably get by by cleaning it and also cleaning the EGR ports once this is off. Obviously this is off, but I've cleaned out the ports inside there. Inside the intake. But it not, doesn't take much to keep that valve just a little bit open from the 0.8 that it's asking for for the rest position and this reading at the 1.2 alright guys so I just went ahead and cleaned this EGR valve just with uh, some carb clean a little bit of elbow grease and some rags And it turned out pretty good. I did open this up and make sure I cleaned that lip. All right guys, so got the old EGR, removed it, cleaned it, showed you guys the before and after, reinstalled it. Before installing it, also cleaned out the EGR ports the best I could uh, inside the intake. So it was, it wasn't horribly gummed up the EGR valve was actually the worst but we want to make sure that this is a fix and that there's not any EGR plug, plugged uh, passages or anything like that 
So we are going to do the same test that we were trying to do earlier that immediately failed and uh, kind of go from there. All right, 190 degrees, zero RPM. We have battery voltage maintaining. So we have met the criteria. Go on to the next. Now if you look at it, 0 0.7, 0 0.77. That is real close to 0 0.8. And you can see it's right in between the two arrows. So that's exactly where Ford wants that EGR pencil position key on engine off. So we're already doing better than we were before. Okay, so if you look at all the PIDs, all the PIDs, it is that they're saying they're all within spec. So the barrow, the map, the exhaust absolute pressure. Okay, so we tick to continue. Now this is the part of the test that I think is pretty sweet. So right now, key, key is on, engine off, and the PCM is controlling the EGR valve opened and closed. So you can see where it wants the perimeters for this valve as it's opening. So if this blue line is outside that perimeter value, it's going to fail. And I will tell you, so this is, this is where I got to last time on this test. And it was barely out. It was good opening, but when it came to the closing, the, the stop, the pencil position stop, the blue line was at the very hot, the top mark. So it was, it was barely, barely, barely out. So this right here is telling me that the EGR valve is opening, is closing. It still doesn't confirm anything about the passages yet. So we will let it go through this test real quick and move on to the next. Should be almost done here. Okay, so that part of the test has passed. Okay, so now it's asking to start the engine. So it's right now it is running one of six tests for the EGR performance part of it. And it tells you down here at the bottom kind of what it's going through. EGR running test two of six, waiting for engine to stabilize. You can follow along on your screen there. But if you see up here, it's got the arrows in, inside the perimeters of where Ford wants that EGR valve or the pressures or you know the map map pressure, the mass airflow sensor pressure. So you can kind of watch there. I mean if it's falling outside of those ranges, obviously that's going to be a fail. But it does make it nice. You don't have to go to service and repair and look up tolerance specifications. At this RPM, these readings should be this. So it's, you know, it kind of kind of simplifies it, which is which is one nice thing about the Ford IDS. Press tick to continue. That's it. That EGR valve is good. It did need a cleaning. So removed it, cleaned it out real good. I did replace those O-rings on that. Uh, it is a good call to replace those O-rings. Sometimes they can tear coming out. Some, this one actually came out decent. There's a whole tool and stuff to, to remove some of these because they can be just caked up. That one was probably a six out of 10, I would say. I've seen them 10 out of 10. Uh, I don't work on a bunch of diesels, uh, but you know, I work on my fair share. So 
like I said guys, pretty simple. I mean, it's not a complete diagnosis video, but it is showing you some cool functions of the Ford IDS and kind of what to look for and stuff. So, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, I'm signing out.